We have Ivan Mayrina of GMA7. Mr. President, good afternoon. I'm Ivan Mayrina. I represent GMA Integrated News. Pagalawa, uh, unang tanong ko pa lang. <laughs> Kamakailan po naglabas ng video si First Lady Lisa? Tungkol sa, naglabas siya ng warning sa mga taong gumagamit daw ng kanyang pangalan para ma-appoint. Apparently, it had something to do with appointments at the AFP. At sinabi niya, pag ginawa niyo yan, sasabihin ko sa asawa ko, huwag kayong i-appoint. My question, Mr. President, is how involved is the First Lady in your decisions with regard to appointments and in your governance in general? Zero. Uh, she really has no. She really has no input on that. The, the, my, the first lady helps me in terms of re, the organization because she's actually very, very good at that. Organizing which uh, office, how the office, how the workflow goes, where the documents go through. She's well. She's a well-trained lawyer, so she's very good at that. And. Uh, so, but that's that's the extent of it. We don't talk about, uh, we don't talk policy together. I mean, she'll, she'll comment. She generally say that you know uh, that looks good, that doesn't look good. I don't know why you're doing that. Uh, the sign that said, what a great idea. But that's it. Uh, Do you consult her in difficult decisions? Not political, <laughs> not political decision. Legal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the legal. I will ask her. I will, ask, I will ask whenever there's a legal question. I'm not a lawyer, so I need an expert uh, opinion. She's right next to me most of the time, so I can turn to her. I can turn to, I am very lucky, actually. I, I, I think I have the best the legal representation of uh, any president. I have a former chief justice as my uh, executive secretary. I have uh, JPE, who is uh, working as a legal advisor to the president. And between, uh, between all of these experts and luminary, legal luminaries, uh, that's, when, that's the only time that, uh, uh, that, that the discussion inc may include Lisa. But she's not, she doesn't come to the office and sit with us at all. If I have something to ask, it's usually definitions. Define to me what is, the legal, what is the legal definition of this? What is the legal definition of that? When they talk about this, what, they, what do they mean? What's the legal concept behind that? It's usually, that's the kind of question, because she's a teacher. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of question I ask her. Last question, sir. Madalas rin pong isama si Congressman Sandro sa inyong mga biyahe at sa inyong mga engagements. The question is, is the Congressman being groomed as the next Marcos president? Sandro? <laughs> uh, no, he's not being, it's, we're not grooming him for anything. He's grooming himself. He's a, he's a, he's a, uh, he has decided on this, uh, on, on this uh, career and politics and uh, I, I, he will handle it the way he does. Where there's, not, there's not some long range plan that one day Sandro is going to be president. Um, he will laugh, actually laugh in your face if you tell him that. But no, there's no, we, 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 don't, we don't think in those terms. He, he, he has worked in, he has work in, uh, in, uh, the, in Ilocos Norte. Uh, even talks of the talk of the presidency would be so, so, so premature. Uh, and it's not something that we plan. I mean, we, we'll see. I think he has the same attitude as I do. I'll take this as far, I'll do as well as I can, work as hard as I can, and take this as far as I can. Which is exactly what uh, I said, you know, well, like, they, when, when, when people talk about, uh, did, you, did you plan this being to, to be president? I said, well, you know, I was a uh, congressman, I said, oh, it's hard to be president. No? Oh, governor, ba? all these problems that I had, I would go to the president. Senador, ganun din. Diba? Everybody dreams to be the, the number one position. But, uh, that doesn't mean that uh, uh, we're plotting. Uh, <laughs> you know, we have this long-range plan. Not at all. Not at all. He's, uh, he has, he's too busy anyway. He has too much work anyway. Um, the reason he accompanies us is because he's an author of the Maharlika Bill, the Maharlika Fund Bill. And we, he, sometimes... He has, like, I, have, I had an interview with Financial Times. Uh, he took over when it came to the Maharlika bill because I had somewhere else to go. So he uh, explained. Author naman siya, dapat alam niya. So that's what, that, these recent trips, 
uh, that has been that's the reason why he has been with us. Thank you, Mr. Okay. President. Thank you. Well, on that note, thank you so much, Mr. President. <laughs> thank you so much. One round, round. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> round two. <laughs>